Hi, it's Ray Mills, your VBA craftsman. I'm going to run you through my budget tool, which is available on my website, Excel and VBA Craftsman. So let's start here. First thing I want to do is create a budget. So you click this button, and I want to run one for starting with January 2019 and do it for 12 months. Proceed. And you can see it's built the budget here. Um, I give you suggested categories. Automobile, utilities, etc., etc., etc. That's to get you thinking about. It. Make sure you get everything that you, everything that's going out the door to your household. That is everything you spend. So, without further ado, let's run through it, and then we'll talk about it while we're running through it. Okay. Click here to the budget builder. Okay. You should always be in A1 when you're building your budget, and just show you how things work. Now, I don't happen to like paycheck. That's the heading. Let's make it uh, S A L A R Y. Sounds so much better, right? <laughs> and I happen to get twenty-two hundred um, every every uh, twice a, twice a month. So it's bi-monthly, twice a month. And then we hit add modify row. Now the add um, modify row is going to insert insert details here. So let's do it twenty-two hundred twice a month. Let's see what happens. And you'll see that it's added. $4,400 every month. Pretty straightforward. Now, let's just say I was getting it bi-weekly every two weeks, and I got it on Fridays. Hit Friday, and let's just make the money money uh, 1880 or 1900 How about that? Add modify budget. And it wants to know, it's asking us, what's the first... First, uh, we said we got paid on Fridays. What's the first Friday that we get? Let's say the first, because we get it every other week. So depending upon when the last payment was in December, we really need to know what the first payment is. So if we know the first payment, I expect one on the 4th. So proceed. And you'll see that it's calculated. Some, some months have three pay periods in it. That's awesome. Okay, let's do another one. Predictable bonus. Well, I don't really have a predictable bonus, but I do have a part-time job. My, excuse me, my wife has a part-time job. So let's go part-time. Claire. C-L-A-R-I-N-E-T. L-E-S-S-O-N-S. -S -S. It's actually a pretty lucrative little gig she's got going. So she's she's weekly. She gets paid weekly. And she makes about $70 a week teaching clarinet. She works pretty hard. And we'll put Friday in. Although she gets it there all during the week, but Friday is fine. So let's put that in. Again, you'll see that some weeks have more than more, more than four Fridays. Uh, we don't have any expense reimbursement, so let's delete that. Yes, I don't own any property. Let's delete that. Yes, my interest earned is pathetic, so I'm not even going to bother. Delete that. Yes. Dividend and capital gains. Now, I do own some stock. And I get it quarter I get a dividend payment quarterly. And it starts with February every year. And last year, it was $147. Add modify. Okay, so see how that's going. Now, uh, let's try an expense one. It really works the same for expense. Uh, I have a mortgage. And I want you to personalize it, right? So that's what makes it your budget, right? And it will help you remember things, right? So Citibank gets some money from me every month. And it happens to be $1,208. And it's monthly, of course. So monthly. And add modify. Boom. So um, you see how this works? Well, the tool basically helps you with the timing, and you don't have to copy across, and it does it all for you and calculates the correct, you know, number of Fridays or whatever. So it, it helps you really go through this quite quickly. So what I, I suggest you do is get a hold of your checkbook, pull that out, get a hold of your credit card statements, because in case you pay through the credit cards, and detail in with as much precision as possible every part of your current running rate. And you'll, you'll have to figure out what you spend cash and put that in as well. And you have a very, 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 very uh, inclusive list here. 
So <laughs> I just happened to see one here, Coffee House. Uh, it brings to mind that uh, the latte factor, which is how much people spend on buying some Starbucks and they discover they're dropping a hundred dollars a month in Starbucks. And you know, if you add that up, that's twelve hundred a year over the years. That could add up to a big amount. But that's another matter entirely. So it, uh, the budget's here for your use. What I suggest you do after you build your budget and periodically is save budget to make sure that you uh, put it, have it saved on your spreadsheet, on your um, uh, saved on your your PC or your laptop. And uh, enjoy it. Thanks.